Greetings, Sir and Sirettes, and welcome back after far too long to Kingdoms and Castles with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to the Lathrixian Isles. After a very long break, we are finally back, and I promise I won't be having such a long hiatus again. I just got so caught up with some other games, I completely forgot about this series, and now I'm kind of kicking myself, because that's just not fair. So we are now back, and we will stay back. So, what are we doing? Doing today? What is our goal? Well, after I sort of get back used to the game, I think our main goal today shall be trying to expand to the north over here. Because honestly, after looking at everything again, I think I've decided I don't like this wooden wall section. It was a cool idea, and I definitely like this section, having the wooden wall on the very outside and then the stone wall as the core section. But I feel like this just looks a little bit too mismatch. So I think I'm going to do is expand our walls a little bit, or actually what we could do now is instead just start to replace this wall. So replace one section at a time until this is completely stone. That way it will look far, far better. This could be the rich district in the future rather than having it further away from the keep. Having the keep itself and this area as the extremely wealthy section. Now, over here, we really need to start getting our protection sorted, so let's get this all nice and done. Now, like I've said before, I'm not entirely sure how the new Viking system works when it comes to the additional islands. Now, this island, I don't actually want to be very populated. In fact, I want it to be minimum population and purely here for the stone mine. The next island we get, perhaps the iron one or the other stone island, which is over yonder. There we are. Much larger. We can have it as a proper, just normal island. Treat it like we should treat it. But that one, it's purely for the production of stone. Which does mean we don't need all that much protection. We can just make it into a tiny little bastion. All well and good. Okay then, so let's get started. It's pause time. Let's knock down some of these walls. Also, I've decided in the next video, at the very start, we're going to have a bit of a naming spree. So this is the last chance for a while for people to get names in. So I need a name for this island, I need a name for the, the secondary dock, which is currently just called Dock Junior, and I need more names for houses. Seriously, we're going to have so many manors. So if you'd like a house in the rich the rich district, or in the potential poor and normal areas, feel free to tell me. Or, if you'd just like something else named, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be needing names. Okay, let's put you back up. I just forgot the hotkey to speed up. Hello, dragon! Turn on our ballistas. Uh, where are they? Are they going to go over the other island? No, they're not. Oh, I forgot they send their babies to their doom. Hello. Did I just not turn on the archer towers? Hmm. I did. We don't have enough people. We don't have enough people to man the defences. Okay, increase population ASAP. Of course, we just put down all the new farms and stuff. People are working on other things. Actually, no, that makes no sense. This is on top. The archers did eventually work there. Yeah, these two should actually steal jobs because they're on top. Goodbye, dragons. Thank you for your delicious flesh. Uh, what are you trading? Just food, isn't it? Yeah, you're just sending food over here. I don't think I'm ever going to have farm. Actually, I probably could just have a couple of hovels for the farmers. Almost done. Then I'm going to focus on putting down a ballista tower. I don't need... Yeah, okay, good. I don't need a... Um... What's it called? The... Not the barracks. The chamber of war for the ballista tower. Also, how much stuff do you have in here? Whoa! Yeah, you have plenty stuff. Plenty of stuff indeed. Uh, I might I might actually just stop you for a while, or just lower how much you're sending. Um, send five for a while, just to allow their stocks to slowly diminish. That would be fantastic. That looks weird. Do I like how that looks? You know, I kind of do. It looks like a bit of a checkerboard pattern. I'm sure we can do something with that later, but for now, let's just continue to wall ourselves up, make ourselves a little bit safer. Speaking of which, we did need to wall up over here as well. Thankfully, just wooden wall, since that's what this whole area is about. And then add some extra layers. We are going to be repairing this wall so much, but I think it's totally worth it. In times of peace, it will look lovely. In times of war, it will burn and look lovely. Also building our aqueduct system, which will be fantastic in a little while. Hip, hip, huzzah for that. There we go. Hello. Hmm. Hmm. 
good day, good day, good day. Something to do with food, but we're fine. No, we're... Oh, yeah, we are. It's just because the granaries keep getting too full. In fact, we need some more granaries over here eventually. Especially if I'm going to move all of the agriculture over here. Hmm. Thoughts, plans, and schemes. This may be a bit lazy in terms of design, but I think I'm going to do here is go with these. The piers all the way around. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Then have a large tower section here, then have a large tower section in this corner as well. That should cover everything, and if anything gets even close by, if we use ballista towers, we can actually help to defend our main harbour here. Also, yeah, the three tower option here didn't really pan out. Mostly because we're overly fortifying this section, so we just don't need it. It'd be a bit wasteful overall. Our happiness kind of sucks. Well, we are on tax rate 2 because we were so poor before. Uh, yeah, going to stay with tax rate 2 for a while. If a merchant comes with bonuses, I definitely want those bonuses. Should I just keep these wooden walls? I love how they look. The ones with the towers on, anyway. I could just leave them for now. Is there a major issue with that? Not with these ones, because burning those down is going to be difficult. Especially... Ooh. Do you know what might look really nice? Also, can you put a stone tower on top of a wooden tower? Nine. Okay, so you go, go. Maybe that'll look nice. It also kind of makes it a little bit cheaper. And I think it'll look fancy. Now, I'm just hoping that that doesn't allow the Vikings to burn them still. Because they do... I think they throw the fire. They throw torches, essentially. So I don't know if there's a range on their attack. Is it actual contact, or is it a tile or two? If it's a tile or two, this is worthless. In fact, it makes these more vulnerable because they're always going to aim for them, since they're the only burnable things. If it does work, that'll be fantastic. Hello, merchant with nothing of interest. Um... Actually, tools. Do want tools. Which ones are tools? Yeah, these ones are tools, right? Yes. Okay, I'll grab those. Because at the moment, we simply can't make them. And I'll sell. Um, no. I'd rather leave everything where it is, thanks. Okay. Once we get iron, we can make tools. Tools mean workers are more efficient. So those tools will be gone almost instantly since no one has them at the moment. Here you go. Festival for all. We have tools. It's the tool festival. Not the most interesting of festivals, I admit, but you know, it's a necessary one. The Vikings are invading. Please don't stop by that island. You're going to go right past them, and I'm hoping that's exactly what happens. Why do the archers take... Oh, look, it's not instant anymore? That's fascinating. That used to be instant. When did they change that? Wow, that's certainly a welcome back to the series, isn't it? Look how many are there. No ogres, though. Don't shoot the dark. Ignore it. Big thank you. Where are they going? They're kind of splitting. Which is good for us. It means more of our towers are functioning. Wow, we need to defend that better. Yeah, one high wall's not good enough. I told you I'd seen it burnt down. Wow, wooden walls! I didn't know you were so weak! Don't really know where you guys are going. We have no entrances. You can burn stuff down, but that's it. Yeah, wooden walls are way weaker than I expected. That's really bad. We don't have the wells over here yet, do we? No, these are all going to be lost. Just walls, though. That's all we lost. And half the stuff we, we were aiming to replace anyway, so... Oh, is that just walls? Yeah. No, a forester. Uh, rebuild. Oh, am I really going to have to make all this out of stone? Why can't there be a hotkey for the rebuild? That's... a little bit upsetting. Now, admittedly, a lot of this burnt down because there isn't a well over here yet because we don't have anything over here. But even so, that was not the best ever, to say the least.
you know what's faster than just rebuilding like that? Rebuilding like this. I still want the wooden walls, though. I really love how they look. But if they're going to be able to get in so consistently, it's not going to be worth it. Also, I can't build these higher than two because it would look terrible with these towers. These towers then just blend in and then... Well, that's just boring. So I really need to have a think about, is it really worth the looks? People in the comments, what do you think? Because I don't actually know. Is it worth the looks to be so, so much more vulnerable? How vain am I as a ruler? Yeah, I was going to get rid of all these soon anyway, so all this can be just knocked down. Oh, I really love the idea of wooden walls on the exterior, though. My plans and schemes. Hello, the reservoir is now active. For now, we don't really need to make any aqueducts because once again, we are going to be moving all this into here as soon as it's sustainable. But what this does is it means this little bit of barren land, for instance, can be farmed on. Sadly, it doesn't give you the bonus that regular fertile land does give, but it still gives you the irrigation bonus. Still not as good as fertile land, but hey-ho, you farm what you can. So, with that, we need more stone. <laughs> we always need more stone. That's why this is being built. Ooh, somebody hit this wall. That's just mean. Going to need protection over here very, very soon. Could make a square like this, then... How annoying is that? I can't quite make a square. It'll be a square with a little bit of a notch out of it. Hello, merchant. Please don't give us anything special right now. I can't afford anything. Oh, I could sell the excess food and stone we have, though. You know what? Sure. Here's 216 stone. I meant to say wood, clearly. The merchant understood that. Why couldn't you? Um, yeah, what do I do here? I guess I could just make an L. I could make that into the tower section, then. It'd be nice, because it means if we ever do want to expand this for whatever reason, well, it's all kind of protected and nice and neat and... Not bad. Also, six peasants have died from the plague. Ooh, you don't have a doctor, do you? Hmm, money to think about. Ah, dragon, hello. You know, we're a bit low on money right now. So could you die quickly this time? Yeah, Frank, I'm talking to you. Me, Frank. Yeah, you're Frank and you're going right into our everything. And... You're dead. Hello, Frank's offspring. I'll call you Dennis and you do. Splish. Well, not actually splish, more the water is now... Oh, you sink now. Did they sink before? Has there been like a minor patch or something? So I'm seeing things I didn't know existed before. Or maybe I'm just that non-observant. It wouldn't be a surprise. We have no one idle here. Really? No one? Oh, because you're doing the building work. Uh, maybe an extra person wouldn't hurt. Why do you have no food? Your food and hit. <laughs> you know how I said lower the food? Um, no. That was a terrible idea. There we are. How much food does this give now? Uh, base output is four. High soil fertility is two. Receiving irrigation is one, master workers is one, and windmill is plus two, equals ten per year per farm. Not bad at all. Now, of course, if we did one windmill there, one there, one there, then these would get double the bonus, but once again, this just looks so much nicer. Uh, do we keep this? Harvesting wood? We could do. We could just keep this area for that. It doesn't matter that it's within our borders. But this is such a great food area. We could do things like that here. Actually, that'd be easy to do as well. We could block this off. Then use this entire section for gathering wood. Maybe here as well, if we put down a gate. Then we could have the next populous area here. Need to consider markets then soon. Also, am I going to have any houses down here? I think I will. Having people around just means they can put out the fires a lot faster. So any job around here would be fantastic, for instance. How about a mana to get the ball rolling? I'll call this one something like mana flammable, since this is right next to the wooden wall, which will burn down constantly. 
In fact, what I'm going to do is this, and this will be the lord of this area. It's going to be the only rich house we put down. And then destroy that. It's basically attached to that well now. And then put down a secondary well here. This will actually be a very happy house because we won't have neighbours. That will upset it, but there we go. So we have one well there, one well there. Uh, rebuild that. And then let's put down a tower here because we can. Even if we put towers everywhere here, they're still going to be fast enough to, to set them on fire. It's as simple as that. Maybe some archery towers, though. Wouldn't it be terrible to put some archery towers maybe in this corner here. But saying that, when they burn the outside, it seems like our peasants struggle to get water there because, you know, there's no way exactly out. So keeping it thin might make it weaker to catapults, but it makes it stronger against fire. Hmm. I feel like I'm playing Pokemon. Go, use Catapult Bolt. It's super effective. Wall is messed up. Horribly. And several people are dead. I mean, fainted. Oh, this is a new one. I've never seen this before. Collection rate 50%. Not enough tax collectors. Make sure treasure rooms are fully staffed. Well. In all the time I've played this, I have never actually had that issue before. So I assume it's been added because people have mentioned it before. But I've never actually seen it cause a problem. Yeah, I need to check, um, I really do need to check the patch notes, because I think I've missed something. I really do. Okay, tax collectors, we do actually need that money. Incredibly, incredibly important we have that money available to us. Also, arch towers, please stop. I didn't realise I had one of those two still online. There we are. How are you not fully staffed? You're five out of five. Even though I can do the math, that's okay. But here's the question. Is it still a problem? No, now it's 100%. That's why we've been having money issues today. Well, that and the archers just then left on. That was the first time I've left them on with all the times I've turned them on. So, curious. Okay, so I just looked it up and apparently should have not left it uh, running in the background. And yeah, it's with this huge update that we're playing now, which has added all of the amazing great library stuff in the cathedral, which has actually finally fixed that. So yeah, that is new. Just not as new as I thought it was. Clearly that was me going a bit mad there, but I just hadn't encountered that yet. I wonder how long that had been going on for, though. I wonder if it affected anything in the last video or two. As much as I love playing through games blind, I really do dislike reading patch notes the first time I play. Sometimes it does bite me in the butt, but it also increases my enjoyment, so when did that burn down? Anyone? Anyone want to fess up to burning down this? Oh, it needs to be made out of stone, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It's not like that's really helping out until it has functioning sections anyway, so... Just keep going. And look, the money's actually increasing now on only one tax rate. I was on two earlier, it was hardly moving. How are you hungry? There's food right there. We need to make a market. If we can remove this unusable stone, we could put a market here. Uh, the market is two by two, correct? If I could actually grab it to show you, maybe I'll be correct. In fact, I can over here, can't I? Haha, take that. Yeah, two by two, okay. That's good. I thought it said I could build there then. That was going to be really weird. So the next time the merchant comes by, I'm going to have to buy a lot of tools. Because otherwise I simply can't remove this. I was removing this earlier, but I accidentally pressed demolish rather than destroy. Because you have the demolish button here. Well, underneath at the very bottom it had destroy rocks. I got a bit confused about that, and well, mess has happened. Yeah, food's okay still. This house won't be the happiest. Yeah, it needs neighbours. Which I hear become good friends. Anyway, you... <laughs> oh god, that was terrible. Ugh, that made me feel a bit sick. I could have another... Wow, two rivals! Yes, I love the idea. Go. Two rivals for great power. Then I'll have peasants probably over here. Yeah, this isn't as fertile as here. Here needs to be used. 
dragon sighted. So as always, I almost <laughs> almost pressed the tax the um, tax collectors. Quickly, send in the tax man. Oh no! You monsters. How did that get set on fire? Nature! There's a well right there! You guys suck at this! What, what actually burnt down here? Two hovels, is that all? Okay, that's not too much at least. Put them back and... Let's have this corner built up nice and quickly, and I'll put down at least one Ballista Tower. They tend to be the best versus the dragons, so hi-ho. That's our current, our current plan. It's our current plan. To sway the dragons. The more adorable you sound, the less likely the dragons are to eat you. Sadly, I just sound creepy when I do stuff like that, so I'm dead anyway. I turned off the tax collectors. I am going to do that so often, because it's muscle memory to activate the top two. What are you guys doing? Just an organized swim. You know, the usual. I live in a very, very weird place. The peasants despair at their filthiness. They need a bathhouse, and that is a new thing. Ooh, look at you all being fancy needing to be clean. 125 stone! Go into the river! It's fresh water! I mean, I know it's not as good as a bathhouse, I'm sure, but look! Look! Right there, just jump in the water. I guess that's what those guys were doing. That'd be hilarious if they spent time doing that. Still had the, the negative modifier, but spent time doing that as well, so their efficiency went down. That'd be curious, to say the least. Uh, where am I going to put the bathhouse? I'm hoping it's a 2x2, two two, since then I can just fit it here. And that will affect, but how expensive it is, I can't imagine it will be. It doesn't look like it'll be bigger than a 2x2 two two, though, looking at the sprite. Hmm. The sprite, the preview, the whatever you want to call it, the potato. Everyone okay? Good. Would you like another hovel? There you go. I just realised, they already have a market right here. Yeah, you guys are suck at getting food. Okay, I'd like to buy stone right now, please. That'd be lovely. I'll have that. That's pretty much all I can afford. No tools for now, I'm afraid. But thank you. Almost got the bathhouse. Just need a little bit more. Come on, quarry workers! The only quarry in the whole kingdom. Excluding this one. This is its own separate thing. Your happiness is pretty terrible. Am I not giving you charcoal? Could I swan yeah, I need to give you charcoal as well, don't I? I was originally going to have a charcoal maker. That was it. That was the plan. Forgot about that. You see, this is why you need to keep on playing a game. I'm so sorry for all the things I'm forgetting. Don't worry, like I say, I will be not doing such a long hiatus again. So drop off, there we are. Charcoal will make them happier, to begin with. Then we can add things like a tavern and stuff as it gets bigger. I still want people here to be happy. They don't need to be extremely happy, since I'm not going to tax them, there's the thing. So no huge negative, but happy enough that if they lose population, they can at least replenish themselves. Um, can I put a granary there? Ah, that'd be nice, but no. Hmm, don't really know where I, could put, I should put the next granary. I mean, I guess if these are the lords of this area, I think we should have the granary here, then. Really. Oh, good, we can now do the bathhouse. Please be too- Oh my freaking god, what the darkness is this? What in the living hell of starchy potatoes being thrown at naked businessmen is this thing? <laughs> what did I just say? Anyway, <laughs> oh my god. Thankfully, it affects everywhere, but where am I going to... Oh, there. That's where I'm going to place it. Does it affect all of the rich area? Yeah, all of the rich area, except for this one house here. 
And even that, I think, is being affected, but possibly less. Here would be perfect, but I'm not going to knock down that many houses. Just one manor being knocked down is already annoying, so... Sorry you ever lived there. Two people are going to be homeless for a short while, and can we please cut all this down? I'll put a cottage there in a second, and that will be the keeper of the place. But seriously, what is this? It's ridiculous. And of course it does affect the poorer region over here, which is nice. So I guess, is here better or is here better? That's weird. Look over here, where my mouse is currently. So right now it's affecting that cottage, at least half of it. We move it to here, it isn't. Here it is, then here it is. But here it isn't, and that's the same place. Depending on where you started it and then moved it to, depends if that one counts. So if I do here, then here, that works. Oh, darn it, I just realised got the forest out working this, haven't we? Um, just for a second, could the foresters please shut up? You're sort of using the area I'm trying to renovate. Yeah, 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 I know, people are filthy. They're peasants, what do you expect? It's what they do. Where's the entrance? Uh, there's entrances. Oh, well, over the thing. That's fine, then. I like it more like that. So, if I do this, then I move it here, and it works. Weird. Okay, please build that up. That would be lovely of you all. And we'll put down a cottage, and this will be the Cottage of Filth. And then, because I don't trust this game, I'm putting down a well. Because despite the fact it's made of stone and water, we've seen things made of stone and water catch a light before. So we are definitely uh, going to make sure we have extra water nearby. Okay, okay. Um, that's a bit annoying having those two there. Definitely a vulnerability. Um, afraid Forester. Actually no, the Forester can stay, it doesn't really matter. Three years till next Viking attack, I think I'll have plenty of time to build up these. Hello, merchant. We don't really have enough money for you, so I'm going to raise the taxes for a short while. Now also taking wood to the destination, because we are finally building some ballistas. And we've completely run out of wood, which isn't particularly helpful when building something made of wood. You see my problem, right? Hello, merchant. Still nothing of use to me, I'm afraid. Uh, could, we, could we actually buy enough tools to do anything with? Yes, we can. Uh, no, we can't. Only eight. How many do we need? For a... Rock removal, we need 10. And as soon as I buy them, people are going to start stealing them. Well, I can actually make it so we can store resource without it being... There we are. Without it being usable to the public, so that's what I'll do. And I'll just purchase all you have and stockpile them. Oh, I missed... I misread that. Okay, I mixed up the price and that, but still, it was a good thing to do. So it led to a good decision, but it was dumb reasoning. Sums up a lot of my life, actually, that does. More food. Now, where's that dragon? Oh, it's a swarm of baby dragons this time. More little Dennis's and D's. Look at that. You inst... If you pause the game and do it, you actually get them to slowly fill the ranks. If you wait, it's a bit random, it seems. Okay, anyway, um, unpause. That's interesting. Oh, people actually run to them now. That definitely didn't used to be the case. It used to be you click and they instantly fulfilled the role. Oh, they are definitely gonna burn something. Come on, guys, please. Mm, don't break anything. Thank you. The bathhouse has no water in it. Oh, it needs to be connected to one of... Of course it does. Oh, that is so irritating. So... We need to put down one of these over here. Because this won't be able to reach, so we need a second one anyway. I... But here's the thing, I don't want the... If I break the wall to put the aqueduct through, 
it leaves a vulnerable section. It also costs a fortune in stone. So what's probably the best is to remove these two and make this into a pool of water, similar to what I've done here. Then add the Noria there, then connect up the water. Also, people please get... Not tax collectors. People please get off the archery towers and stuff. Thank you. Yeah, that's probably best. So, castle, moat. Food, and then I'll do that as soon as we have enough money. Over here, things going okay, actually, which is nice to see. And we can put down these lands. I'm going to do it like this. Yeah, I like facing all different directions like that. Okay, looks neat. Or does it? You know what? Change of plan. No, I don't like how that looks. All will be standard. There shall be no deviation. And now you guys definitely need more people because you need the ability to man these things. Eh, well, we already gave them more people, didn't we? Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Oh, no you won't because I haven't finished off your walls yet. You'll be dead. You'll be dead. <laughs> Latherix is not a very um, attentive leader. It must be said. The Vikings have arrived once more to claim our lands. And they're probably going to go straight through this wall. Guys, please, now. Ogres, down, ASAP. That's it, get all stuck with each other. That's kind of good for us. Who are you going? Gonna ram the thing? Oh, that's interesting. The ones with the ogres don't have catapults. I did not know that. Yeah, two higher walls are much less vulnerable. Still pretty bad, though. Yeah, two life for that in comparison to a single um, castle block, which is also two life. So essentially a wooden wall is worth half that of stone. What are you guys doing? You're sort of getting attacked. That did not work out for you, did it? We need more defences. I mean, we did... Oh, dear. We did mostly survive, though, to be fair. The damage we took was very minimal. But yeah, we need to focus more on defence, and I'm really, really thinking that the wooden walls now are just... Sadly, not worth the hassle. Which is really upsetting. Right, we're not done yet? Okay, I guess I'll leave it on until they're gone. That's weird. Oh, good, we have enough stone now. Because that is logical. <laughs> the wheel's going to go through the road. Oh, that's going to look awful, isn't it? I could destroy these two. Then basically dedicate this whole section to the bathhouse, which would look very elaborate at least. I think for now, we'll leave it as this. But when I start renovating all of this and putting down the mansions, this is the very first thing to change. Now, does that work? Or does it need to go inside somehow? I guess we'll find out once it's built. Armor-piercing ballista technology. I just sold everything I had since I didn't have much money left after the last invasion. And this will give us plus 25% damage on our ballista towers. Yeah. Now I'm really going to focus on Ballista. Probably a little bit too much, in fact, I already was. But at least now the Ballistas are definitely very, very powerful. Thank you, Merchant Ship. And I'll also buy the stone, because stone is cool. Come on, get built. I want to see if this works. I'm really, really hoping it does. Need more food storage, really. Yeah, so what I'm going to do here, is all this going to be farmland? I think it will be. Also, do you count as neighbours? You do. Good. Oh, um, I had the tax rate on three to make sure I could buy that. Dragon? No, you're not the highlight here. This is bathing nude people! Oh my god, they're actually nude, aren't they? I was only joking! Oh yeah!
Yeah, they are. <laughs> well, didn't expect that detail to be added, but yeah, that's both flesh tone, isn't it? Well, hope you're all nice and clean. How is there a food shortage? We gained food last year, our food stores are full, and there's a market right here with food still available. No one, I repeat, no one has the excuse to not be fed. You are so lazy you are starving yourselves. That is a special talent, it must be said. That is not the direction I want to... Where were you taking damage from then? I saw you taking damage with no shots. I'm going mad. Double dragon, double meal. Thank you. There you go, you've even got dragon to eat. Not many kingdoms can boast that, it must be said. Oh good, we're finally finished on the stone front. Yeah, that looks... Eh, does it look good? Oh, that little glitchy thing on the front. I don't know if that looks good. How about only one high? Oh, it hurts me to do it. Oops, uh, Daisy. Uh, a bit um, overzealous there, whoopsoodle. Oh look, that got healed. I didn't know that got auto-healed. That's neater. How about that? Wow, I don't even know if I like that. Well, for now, we'll keep it as a two high because that's the most easily to defend. And then we'll decide later. And I've just looked over at the time and wow, I've been playing this for too long. I missed this game so much. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Like I said, at the start of the next video, I'll do a bit of a naming spree and then probably every couple of episodes I'll do the same. It's a lot more difficult to, to be consistently naming things because things are constantly changing. But when I get a burst of names, it means I can name an area I'm certain isn't going to change. So I need names for houses, for towers, for the, where are you, the docks, for this island itself, so much stuff. And with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favorite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Kingdoms and Castles is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I promise we won't be gone for this long again. Thank you, and goodbye.